Ladies and gentlemen, we have made so many Scarlet and Violet videos that the only way we are making brand new content is by using off meta teams. Well, that's the point right now. Up until new Pokemon come out, DLC, new content is only coming from off meta Pokemon. And that is what we got for you guys today. We are ripping up the rank double ladder with a mega launcher claw itzer team cannot wait to use this pokemon it gets a 50 percent boost from all pulse and spear moves so water pulse dragon pulse aurora spear all get a 50 percent boost i think shadow ball might because it might be considered a pulse or spear move not too sure i'm going to guess it is because ball is kind of a spear makes a lot of sense but hopefully you grab some ones that showcase this off meta pokemon and have some fun at the same time you guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, DK Trading. Thanks so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I'm super excited to use this team. And thanks again for always leaving me some banger of rental codes. But we got Glamora in our front spot. Glamora is great in Series 3. Very good at that stall play. This one has Corrosion instead of the Toxic Spikes, which I can get down for. It has Mortal Spin, Power Gen. Gem, sludge bomb earth power alongside with that assault vest to make it a bit bulkier on that special defensive side we got claw itzer in our two slot and like i said claw itzer is awesome he can hit like a truck he's got the mega launcher for the 50 percent boost he's got that choice specs for that choice specs boost he's got stab boost on a few of these moves and then also pairing it up with chiyu come on man come on man that's too easy this thing is going to be ripping opponents left and right it's got Water Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Shadow Ball, and Aurora Spirit, and the Choice Spec like we already mentioned. Third slot is going to be my lovely little support Pokemon. Our Amoongus, Regenerated Leftovers, Protect, Rage Powder, Palm Puff Sport. You guys seen it plenty of times before. Fluttermane is also on this team. Like I've been mentioning, can't really have a Chiyu team without Fluttermane. This Pokemon is just way too strong in the format. It's got Protosynthesis, the Life Form Adds Item, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Hex, and Protect. We got Chiyu in 5th slot with Beads of Ruin and the Focus Ash, Heat Wave, Protect, Dark Pulse, and Will-O-Wisp. will o can definitely come in clutch, especially when we're going up against physical attackers. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Gyarados, and we just used the same exact build for this Gyarados, and it works really well in ranked double battles, as of right now. As Intimidate, the Safety Goggles, Waterfall, Protect, Taunt, and Thunder Wave. Again, I really do like this moveset, you can taunt opposing support mods. Grant some speed control with Thunder Wave, plus this Pokemon can still do a decent amount of damage with its stab waterfall move. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on out right double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this mega launcher claw it's your team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Annihilate team. Definitely a problem. Big time problem. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? They also got the Tinglu, Amoongus, Arcanine, and Screens Grimstarl. Again, this is just a huge problem. Glamora could be pretty good to poison some Pokemon. I kind of like that, but at the same time, I don't know how I feel about it. I'm really not too sure how I feel about it. Mm. What is my play? What is my play? Who should I go into? How should I play this one? Kalachar could be pretty good as a back end Pokemon. I really do like that. Tinglu is a little bit of a problem, so I might lead Claw Itzer. Do I lead the Claw? The Clawster Pokemon? I think I can get down with that. Choice Specs. And I could also lead it with Chiyu. I don't mind it with Chiyu. So I'm going to lead Claw Itzer and Chiyu. I'm going to bring Fluttermane in the back end. And then last but not least, do I bring Gyarados as our last Pokemon? I kind of want to see your stats, Gary. High on that attack board, which, which I love. Which I love. I like that. I mean, the only problem I would have is going to be Intimidates onto Annihilate, which is always a problem. It is always a problem. But I don't really mind it i really don't mind it so you know what? i'm gonna lock it in i'm gonna lock it down let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one so another thing another reason why i really like the claw answer here is going to be i could choice into a roar spear and that can really rip into mousehold if they decide to lead it right i know mousehold a lot of them have the ghost terror type and that could be a problem because if i'm choosing into that there's two ghost type pokemon on the field it's a problem but if they do not terrestrialize the annihilate then that's where it becomes a problem because then my flutter main Obviously, just going to rip into it with Moonblast, say see you later, and we get thriving. But we'll see who they want to lead. We shall see. It's going to be Grimstarl and Annihilate. Okay. I mean, I can deal with that. I can deal with Grimstarl and Annihilate. I can deal with Grimstarl and Annihilate. And now, what move do I choice into here? A Shadow Ball could be good, but I could definitely see, like, a Terrasalization. Do we think he's going to Terrasalize? There's a possibility. I might just Shadow Ball into you, and then maybe just Dark Pulse. Or maybe just heat wave across the board. I'm gonna heat wave across the board because Annihilate could end up protecting. I don't really see it harassing, right? 
I don't really see Annihilate Terrasalizing. It just straight up protects. So I might Terrasalize next turn as well. He's probably going to set up Screens. Yeah, so Screens come out here. I think he might Terrasalize. Do I swap my Kalitzer? Do I swap my claw? That's the real question. Because they could swap into Mousehold if they do have it. Or do we just see a Terrasalize coming out here? I wouldn't mind Terrasalizing the Ghost just to get that boost. Because that can get off some big damage. But do I think the Rock and Mouse on the back end? Not really, right? I feel like Annihilate, Ting Lu, Arcanine, right? Mm. Problems. We have problems here. I mean, I still feel as we each go into another... I think we should go into another Shadow Ball, and do we protect you, or do we... I think we might just want to will o -Wisp this spot. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna Shadow Ball... I think he does swap. You know, we're just gonna rip into more Heat Waves here. Let's see what he ends up doing. Yeah, into the Mouse Hold. Is Mouse Hold coming out here? I knew it. Oh, it's gonna be Ting Lu. I can deal with Ting Lu. I can deal with Tinglu coming out here. I can deal with that a little bit. A little bit. It's not going to do any crazy damage, but we might have to swap our call. So I probably should have swapped that last turn. But Tinglu, of course, gets to dodge. Just what I wanted. And Spirit Break can come through here. It's going to get a special attack drop, too, on top of that. Which kind of sucks, right? But out comes my Shadow Ball. Not going to do anything crazy. Yeah, see? He's able to soak. And I might just swap my call answer from there. Hmm. And I could throw a burn. But I think Swap and Colossus is going to be our play. And we could Intimidate. I think Intimidate is going to be great. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap into the Gyarados. And I'm going to throw a Burn over onto Ting Lu. Or do we protect our Chi Yu? Or I can also swap my Chi Yu if I want to. Could tear in the grass. I'm going to throw a Burn on Ting Lu. Because Intimidate might be able to help us eat up an extra shot. Which would be big time. It'd be big time. But now comes my Gyarados. We're going to Intimidate onto these Pokemon. They're going to still have Annihilate, which is a little bit of a problem. But my boy, my boy Clawitzer can get after it. The Willowless is going to cook right in this thing. We're hoping he's not sitting here with uh, Fisher, right? <laughs> Fisher's a problem. It could be a big time problem. The Spirit Break also comes out here. We should be able to soak this one because of Intimidate. Yes. And we're hoping that he's not doubling down in the Chiyu slot. He goes for the Fisher. Chill on me, man. It's not affecting me. Chill on me. It does have Fisher ready to go. So I highly doubt he wastes his terror on Team Lu. I feel like we just start getting after him. I might double down into you. Or I can save Chiyu at this point. Because save Chiyu could be very, very good for us. I'm going to protect Chiyu this turn. I want to I deal some damage to this Grimstar a little bit more, right? Because I don't want to swap it into a special attacker and have Spirit Break hit me, right? It would just be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to protect the Chiyu here. We're going to Waterfall this thing down. And almost KO. So that's a good amount of damage. And the outcome's Stomp and Tantrum, which we block, which was double damage. That's scary. That is a scary move. So Burn comes out and about. Um, mm, mm, I wish I had a double-headed move. What do I want to do here? I mean, Reflex out. I mean, we have a burn on this thing. I think we just go into here and... I mean, we might have to sacrifice for Chiyu. Do we really need Chiyu is the real question. Uh, kind of, right? <laughs> that thing's good. That thing's powerful. What do I want to do? I think I might swap it for the Fluttermane here. Just take that special... Special attack drop. Yeah, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. I think we need the Chiyu. I think we need the Chiyu. Dang, you know, the timer was like on my tail, man. Make me make a move. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I hard swap into my Flutter, man. We're going to keep our Chiyu for a little bit. Probably take a Spirit Break here. Oh, he ends up with Strong Grim Sauces. So this is going to be a good turn for us. Amoongus comes out here. A little, little Amoongus comes out here. A little bit of Amoongus comes out here. We go for a Waterfall in that slot. The Stomp Attack is going to fly. This might KO me. I know it does. Cool. Burns helped me out tremendously. 
Okay, so from here, obviously I want to go into this. I think he's just going to start trying to land fishes, right? Do I Terra and a Fairy? I think I might just swap back into Chiyu here. I think I'm going to swap back into Chiyu. And then Terrasalize and start throwing Fairy shots. Right, Tingling's got to go. I feel like from here, it's a pretty simple play of just Rage Powdering out. And trying to land Fishers, because this thing is a massive bulk, and if we don't start dealing damage to it and trying to get rid of it, it's going to be a problem. So it's a Rage Powder coming out here. We are going to waste our Terrasalization here. Straight in the Fairy, baby. I could have hexed it, but I didn't want the Rage Powder coming out here. And I don't see him wasting his Terror type, right? We don't really see him wasting his Terror type on a Burn Tinglu. I just see Fishers coming out here for days. That's when he's gonna fly, and he opts to stay in here straight with uh with a Moolus. We do a nice chunk of damage. What are you going for here? Lose some HP. He's gonna spore one of my Pokemon. Heavy Slam come out here, and we're able to soak that. Nice, nice, nice. And you're gonna spore the Chief. Okay, that's cool. We're not gonna deal with that. I can deal with that, I guess. I guess I can deal with that. Burn's gonna chunk up some damage. Do I just try to get rid of Ting Lu here? I could protect the Flutter me here. And obviously we're just gonna try it for this. Um, I could Moon Blast because a Protect could come out from here. And then you could Spore me. Or I could just go for a Protect and see it and read out what he's doing. Which I think is a bit more of my play, play here. Is just read out what he's doing and just go for a Protect. But I think I think the thing might protect if it has Protect on it. Oh, which is probably best. It never mind. It doesn't have Protect. Should have known that. I should have known that. But I think a Spore might come out here, too. We'll see what they want to play. Heavy Slam's coming out here. And are you Palm Puffing your Ting Lu? I would not like that one bit. At least he wastes out a turn for, uh, for Chiyu. Oh my lord, the HP! Too much! Too much! Alright, Chiyu, I need you to get a little bit of wake-ups here. A little bit of wake-up time. Um, I'm still gonna- I'm gonna go for the Moon Blast in this slot. Should've known it doesn't have Protect. Should've known it's just Vested. So Moonblast's gonna fly here. Chiyu, can you wake up and just get rid of this Amoongus? That'd be big time. So big time damage over on the Tinglu. We could've taken out last turn. Heavy Slam's gonna take us out. Chiyu is still slumped. And I think he just Palm Puffs again. Which I mean, hopefully my Chiyu can wake up this next turn. That'd be big time. That would be big time. But I don't know what move I choice into. Especially up against... Especially up against what's called. Oh, you're gonna palm puff me. Which I died to that. Ah! That hurts. That really hurts. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. So Gyarados can definitely take out the what's called. There's the screen. Screens are finally gone. We are happy with that. So we're finally wasting out some screens here. I think Reflect is one or two more turns. I can check after this. Our opponent's playing really good. I don't really have any move to get rid of that. Amoongus. Like, Amoongus is a problem. We definitely want a waterfall on the Ting Lu. And then... Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hmm. We have to think of a move that we want choice into. Because we know... We know what Pokemon they have, right? We know it's Grimmsnarl, and we know it's Annihilate. I think Shadow Ball is our best bet. We got a choice to a Shadow Ball here. Waterfall's gonna fly. Can this KO please and thank you? It does. So we get rid of you finally. Wow, this is a long time out there. Our opponent's playing really good here. He's playing really, really good. Shadow Ball's gonna fly. How much damage is this doing? Because he's Spore one of my Pokemon, right? We already know it's coming. We did some nice damage. Spore comes out here. And I'm not affected. I got the safety goggles. Woo! That's big. That's big. That's big. So that's big. Who's gonna go into? Annihilate's gonna come out here. And I'm definitely still gonna Shadow Ball down the what's called slot. Do I taunt this thing? I could taunt you. But I think I'm maybe a follow me might come out here. I'm gonna waterfall this slot just in case he wants to terrasalize into fire, and I'm gonna just try to shadow ball KO you. And now you're gonna hard swap into Grimstarl. Okay, I feel you. So he's looking to set up this reflect again or the light screen. Whatever. But hopefully we can just KO. And now is this a fire terror annihilate? Which I would love. I would love. Please be the fire terror. Probably gonna be water like perfectly for him, right? It's fire terror, so good read on our hands. We're here to play. We came to play. We came to play. So waterfall's flying out here. 
We make that read, and that's all big, big damage that's, that we like. And this thing go, opts to go for the milk up. So I could have taunted it. I could have definitely taunted it. But I, I, I don't mind this too much. So I'm going to be able to Shadow Ball you, and this should KO you, right? This should KO you. It's not very effective, but still. You're gone. I can Shadow Ball down the what's it called now. Oh, this is a good matchup. It's a great matchup. He's forced to bring back out Amoogus. Leftovers are going to trigger. Another Shadow Ball should take out Amoogus. It kind of comes down to speeds here. Oh, this is bad. It's, this is a good battle. Good way to start off today's video. Match number one coming at you guys. Oh, Moongus has Regenerator. Now, that's a problem. We don't like that. But so I'm going to throw a Waterfall in that slot. I think I have to deal as much damage as I can to you. Drain Punch could be scary. Rage Fist could be scary. We're going after Moongus here. Protect comes out from Annihilate. He's putting what he's put my claws to sleep. Not my claw. Oh no, you double protect. What's the point of the double protect? I don't really see the point of that, but I'll understand. I don't understand the point of that. You wasting out something? What was the point? Just to read what I was doing? Hmm. Hmm. I think now's the time to double down into. Annihilate. What do we think of Rage Power? They just wasted the Reflect. Do we think a Rage Powder comes out here? There's a possibility. I might just taunt Amoongus here. And Shadow Ball this down. Because if I can keep him from using Spore and all that, I would really like that. So, I'm going to end up taunting you. And we're going to see how this one plays out here. No way you're Mental Herb. There's no way you're Mental Herb. God dang, Mental Herb coming out here. Well, I could have just doubled down into that. Shadow Ball coming out here. Of course you're Mental Herb. That's some big time damage. We could just take it out. Palm Puff comes out here. Okay, so now we can protect. Um. Mmm. Mmm. No bueno. I think I'm going to just protect my Gyarados here. I'm a Shadow Ball down Amoongus. Wow, we could have just taken out Annihilate there instead of taunting. We could have just won this match pretty much. But it would have been big if uh if he wasn't Mental Herb. If he wasn't Mental Herb, we would have won this match too. Because then I could have just started getting after this Annihilate. Oh, I think it's going to protect. Yeah, that's exactly why I protect it. That is exactly why I protect there. I did not want... He to take me out, but he might spore my call answer, which is a little bit of a problem. But Reflect is gone now, which is big. Spore comes out here, and he does spore my call answer. Like, that should not have happened. Of course, you're Mental Herb. So from here, now he can Rage Powder, right? Which is just a problem. Because now he pretty much has this match on lock. If he just Rage Powders. But we're going to hope he doesn't Rage Powder, and we can take him out with Waterfall. That's what we're going to hope here. No Rage Powder. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He does not. Can we KO this? Oh, man. Hurts his soul. Rage Fist coming out here. He's just going to palm puff back up. That hurts his soul, man. The soul is destroyed. I've been spored. I've been mental herbed. And that this match literally came down to the wire. But what a solid first match. I mean, he's just going to start hitting me with Rage Fist. He's just going to take me out. That's going to be game set match. What a first match. I'm super disappointed that we didn't win that one. Especially because we had a chance to when we taunt it. But either way, like, if he didn't have Mental Herb, we win that game. If we went after Annihilate, we win that game, which I was going to double down into. But now I'm just going to run this battle because we're going to be asleep a couple turns. He's going to start Rage Fisting me, Palm Puff, and HP. All that good stuff. Second match coming at you guys, and that first match came down to the wire. A little disappointing that we didn't come out on top. But again, one move or, or one item in this instance really changed the outcome of that battle. But hopping into our second match, we're going up against a Chi Yu and Doc Spun team with uh, Dragonite, Shen Pao, Azumarill, and Fluttermane. So their team really pairs together. Though. It's really like a three set and a three set. You got the Shen Pao, Dragonite, Azumarill all pairing together. Then you got the Chi Yu, Doc Spun, and Fluttermane all pairing together. How should we play this one? I mean, Intimidate could be really good, and I really like Gyarados for the lead. So I'm going to lead Gyarados, and we are also going to lead... Do we lead Glamora? I mean, nice little Poison Rock type isn't bad for us, right? Poison Rock type. Azumarill could be a little bit of a problem, um, but I kind of like it. I kind of like Glamora and... and Gyarados here. 
I can get down with that. And then we could just go to you, Flutter Me, and try to try to win this battle out. I mean, Colette's just pretty good, but I just feel like looking for a win here, match number two, we got to bring in the big guns, right? Got to bring the big guns. We used Colette in match number one. It was doing some good damage through the screens and all that, but we didn't get the choice into like a stab move or have it really up against Pokemon that we were super effective get up against. Because I'm telling you guys, this thing can wipe the floor with Chiyu. And it wasn't even next to Chiyu last match. So Zoom Rail and Flutter Man come out here. Ooh, that's a cool, cool Zoom Rail. Cool Zoom Rail, who we are going to intimidate. So that's a pretty big intimidate. Lovely intimidate. So I kind of like Lamora here for lead. Um, Protosynthesis is going to pop. Um, psh, 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 boosting his speed. Uh, from here we could taunt. I think I'm just going to Thunder Wave down. Azumarill. And I think I'm just going to rip with a Sludge Bomb here. Or do I go the opposite way? Or do I go like Thunder Wave U and Sludge Bomb Azumarill? I think I'm with that. I think I'm with that. I like that a lot. We're gonna go straight after Zoom Rail. I think Lamore might outspeed. I mean, you have Aqua Jet, right? Aqua Jet could do a nice chunk of damage, but it's not gonna KO me. It is not going to KO me. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly here. It's just looking to attack. Lamore soaks pretty well. Thunder Wave's gonna land onto the Flutter Main. Big time paralyzed. Half of his speed. We like that. And Lamora, can you outspeed this Zoom Rail? Thank you very much. Sludge Bomb coming in hot here and dealing some big time damage. No poison. Player Off comes out here and you're able to soak that. I get down with that. I get down. So from here, uh, I might just protect you and do I get rid of a zoom reel? or do I deal as much damage as I can to flutter me? I feel like we just take out a zoom reel, right? I feel like taking out a zoom reel is going to be a play. I can see an aqua jet potentially coming out here, but flutter main half speed. I don't want to worry about it too much. So I'm just going to protect the Gary. Sorry, protect the Gary. Azumar with the protect. Mmm, could have gotten off some free damage on the Fluttermane. I think Fluttermane does go after Gary. But no, it opts to go for the Gleam. That's fine, I guess. And we'll go from there. So I could have gotten off some free damage on the Fluttermane. Which I was thinking of doing. That could have been a big time play. So this happens. Uh, I guess I'll go Waterfall Sludge Bomb here. Nice, lovely waterfall sludge bomb. We might end up seeing a swap here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a swap. But we'll see who our, who our opponent wants to go into if they, if they do end up swapping, which I feel like we should see a swap here. Maybe I should have swapped my Gyarados, but I don't really want to swap into Fluttermane or Chiyu with their Fluttermane ripping Dazzle Gleams here. But now comes the Aqua Jet. Doing a little bit of damage. He just wanted to chunk up some damage before he went out here. And he's going to double down into me. Can you eat this? You can. I love you. I love you with that assault vest. That's big time vest. And oh, was that a crit? What was that? That's just the damage output. That was some big time damage. We like that. So big time damage. We got Glamour out here. We're kind of hoping this Fluttermane can be paralyzed this turn. Because I would love to land a poison onto whatever Pokemon this is. And the Shen Pao. It's going to be the Palski. Shen Palski comes out here. I think we just double down on the Shen Pao. Because once my Fluttermane comes out here. We can pretty much rip into it. I'm going to do that, and I'm also going to... I'm doubling down into this thing. We're doubling straight down into Shen Pao. I'd be, I'd be surprised if it protects. And he's going to end up terrestrializing. Into what typing? It's a real question. I'm going to terrestrialize the Shen Pao into straight dark. So Sucker Punch for the most damage output possible. Okay, maybe we can get lucky and get a Paralyzed turn. We're kind of due for one here as well. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, like I said, we, we were due for one. We were due. We were long overdue. Throw Chop comes out here, so we're going to be able to land an attack, which is good. So he's going to take out you. We are throwing, what was it, a Power Gem, I thought. Kind of hope it's a Sludge Bomb now. <laughs> but it's definitely Power Gem. Yeah, Power Gem comes out here. How much damage are we doing this thing? Nice damage. I'll take that all day. So from here, I could bring out you. I mean, we're Sash. That's big time Sash. Sash means... Mm, do we outspeed the Flutter Mane is the real question. I could use my Terror here. I mean, you should be faster. You should be faster than that Flutter Mane. Let me see your speed real quick. Let me see your speed. 170. Oh, you might not be faster. Because I think it's Protosynthesis boost. I'm going to Terrasalize my Flutter Mane here. 
I think now it's time to Thrasilize Flood. I mean, we have to just pick up some KOs. Or I could just do this. I could protect. Now, you know, we're going to Thrasilize and just clean this up. They're play all day. And then if I can, we'll just finish off the Shen Pao with a, with a Power Gem. So yeah, we're looking to just pick up some KOs here. Get rid of his Pokemon and pretty much seal this match. This is, this is a solid second match. Solid second match here. Water main comes out for me. We Terrasalize it in the Fairy. Looking for the Gleam. But yo, that guy just did a huge chunk of damage onto this uh, Water main, which I really, really like. Sucker Punch comes out here. And is that into who? It's into you. That's fine. That is fine. That is cool. That pretty much guarantees us picking up the KO. Is there Flutter Mate still might be faster than ours? I'm not even gonna lie. It's not. Cool. There's a Booster Energy. I thought Booster Energy kind of like cancels out the Paralyzes. But there's a big time double kill from us. It is now a 2v1. And it is probably the easiest 2v1 we have. Consider we have a Flutter Mate and a Chi on the field. The strongest combo in Series 3. Arguably the strongest combo in Series 3, I should say. Up against whatever Pokemon. I feel like this combo could pretty much take on any any solo Pokemon. Besides maybe a Dondozo fully boosted. Dragonite comes out here. I'm cool with that. Um, I think I'm just going to protect Fluttermane this turn. I think I'm going to play this one really, really smart. I think I'm going to play this one really, really smart. And just go with the protect on the Fluttermane. Because I do have Focus Ash. And I could burn that thing. But I'm just going to take off Multi-Scale here. And see what type he wants to Terrasalize into. I know, he already Terrasalized. He already Terrasalized with Shen Pao. The Dark Pulse can come out here. I'm looking just to take off multi skill first turn. And Iron Head's gonna come in this slot anyway. And now, ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. Come on, man, that's too easy. Match number two, way too easy. Dazzling Gleam gonna fly out here. Dark Pulse, you probably cancel this battle at this point, right? Probably cancel the battle. Being like AO, Gene's got me there. Now he's gonna throw a big time Moon Blast. But yeah, I, I really just want to take off multi skill because that was kind of his only chance, right? Was to survive the Moonblast with the multi-scale and kind of go from there. Either way, I still feel like we had this considering we were stashed with the Chiyu. But I wonder what our opponent's thinking about here. Thinking of ways to win this match. You're not winning this match. I'm winning this match. It is GG. Game over. Take your L and get on out of here. I took my L in the last one. Took it right here and on the chin. Actually, probably in the eye. This eye because I'm, this is the one that I had the black eye on. And it's actually healing well. Probably looks more like brown yellow to you guys because of the saturation in my camera. But yeah, it's starting to turn like yellowish and brown. But I still have that little purple mark, black blue mark. But he ends up protecting the Dragonite. The Dragonite gets protected. And I, I just don't understand this. You just stalling out. Do you want me to run the battle? Do I give him the win? We're not going to give him the win. I, I, ain't, I ain't about it. I ain't about it. We'll Dark Pulse. We'll Moon Blast. I just don't get it. I don't understand the protect there. I just do not understand it. I just, I don't know what our opponent's doing, yo. What is going on? There it is. Battle was canceled. Taking way too long just to do that. Match number two goes to us. Let's go grab ourselves a win in match number three. Final match coming at you guys, and this one seems like a tough one. It really does seem like a tough one. Chi Yu, Flutter Main, Deli Bird, and then Annihilate, Mousehold, and Dragonite. I don't really see them bringing the Dragonite. I see them bringing the Chi Yu 3 with Chi Yu, Flutter Main, Deli Bird, and then probably Annihilate in the back end. Or they can end up just leading Annihilate, Mousehold, which is a little bit of a problem, right? Definitely a little bit of a problem. I kind of like Claw Itzer as lead for us. We could go Claw Itzer and Chi Yu at the same time, which I don't really mind. Right? Getting things started off hot here. I mean, if they do go Deli Bird, that could be a problem, which I do not like. But I still feel as... Mm, do I do it? Do I do it? Yeah, you know what? We're going to do it. Final match. We're looking for this win. We're going to bring Fluttermane here. And then Glamour or Gary. I like Gary. I do like Gary. But Glamour is not bad. I mean, Glamour... Hmm. Glamour is not bad. But Gary... I'm going with Gyarados because he's one of the goats. He is one of the goats, and there's no debating on that. There's no debating on that. If you think he's not a goat in the Pokemon world, you are just simply wrong. OG water Pokemon came from Little Magikarp. When that game first came out, nobody expected Gyarados to come out of that little fish, right? So he's a goat. He's a goat. But we'll see who they want to end up leading here. Who are you going to lead, Kinsir? 
Iron bundle and Chi Not the bundle. Hate the bundle, man. The bundle is just too much of a problem. The bundle is just a problem. I cannot protect Claw Itzer. Claw Itzer is going to take some crazy damage. Claw Itzer might die here if they go for a freeze try, right? They end up going for a freeze try. We're dead. I could Terrasalize you, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to Terrasalize you and go into you with that. Maybe just heat wave across the board. But I do have focus ash. All right, I'm cool with this. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna terrasalize Claudius here. I don't think this match is gonna go in her favor. Claudius or hits hard. He's more of a back end Pokemon, but he's just he just cannot hang with these top guns, right? He cannot hang with these top dogs. He hits hard, but can he just can't hang? So we're gonna terrasalize our boy right here. Hopefully they're not going for no dark move here. That could be bad. That could be real bad news for us. Real bad news for us. We terrasalize in the spooky ghost. Luigi Mansion style. And Chiyu protects. God dang it, man. Not what I wanted. That would have been fine if you didn't protect Chiyu. Would have been fine if I had to hard swap my boy now. He wave flying through here. How much damage are we doing? Okay, we're KOing. We're on the board. We're on the board. Um, I still might protect my or swap my Clawitzer. Because the problem here is. He can just Dark Pulse me, KO me. Or he brings out Flutter me here, and that's a problem. Mmm. Don't, don't like it. Don't like it. Do not like it. Might need a Saber Claw, sir. That could have been such a good turn. Such a good turn. They would have Heat Wave there, too, because I feel like my boy could have potentially eaten that up. Let's see. Out comes the Flutter me, that's why I said it's a problem. Um... Is swapping to Gary here? Probably. But I feel like, again, Anaya's the final Pokemon, so... Getting out Gyarados isn't bad here. Could go into the Heat Wave, it could go into the Dark Pulse. What am I more worried about here? I'm gonna go into the Heat Wave. We're waving up the heats. We're gonna swap or call it, sir. Man, that turn one could've been huge, because Chi would've been goner. No problem. Water pulse into that thing. See you later. See you later, little fishy. But we intimidate two special attackers. It's going to do absolutely nothing to these guys. And they're going to Terrasalize. I'm guessing that's Fluttermane going straight Fairy. Am I correct on that statement? Is Sheen's correct? Of course I'm correct. When am I wrong? When am I wrong? Hardly ever. Hardly ever. The Fluttermane gets that Fairy Terror type. I'm terrified. I'm so scared right now. And I'm going to go down to Sash here. I'm not going down to Sash. Dark Pulse can fly, and now I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, my boy, my mans! you my mans! Never mind, you're not my mans. You are just not my mans. Mmm. That hurts. That's a bad, bad, bad turn of events there. That's a terrible turn of events. Because I think this match is a wrap because of that. Because if you think about it, now he picks up the KOs. We have... Uh, Flutter means... Mm, Flutter means... Uh, that's tough for us. This is tough. Tough news for us. Waterfall protect? I guess so. Figure out ways around this. Hopefully his shoe isn't protecting. You really flinched on that? You really flinched on that? He's probably doubling down to Gyarados. We're hoping he's not, right? But, yeah, it's probably wraps. This Flutterman is just outspeeding us. Oh, where that thing just came just like that. Alright. Huh. Huh. You're nasty. Chill, man. You gotta chill, little fishy. You gotta chill, little fishy. You gotta chill. I am kind of hoping this Gleam could KO, but I don't think it can. <clears throat> I don't think it can. That's why it would have been cool for that heat wave to, to at least land, right? Now I'm just gonna gleam. I guess I'll heat wave on top of that. Their flutter main goes first. Yeah, this is wraps. This is wraps. Cause we can't KO this Chi. We simply cannot. We simply cannot. And that last, this last match just, oh man, just hurts the soul. See, like if heat wave hit, that would have KO'd. That right there would have KO'd, at least a Fluttermane. And that's kind of the Pokemon I need to get rid of. 
Man, dude, that one hurts. That one hurts. Cause I, I don't feel like we, we played too bad in that one. I feel like RNG did us a little bit dirty, but we get another one and two video for today. Or for the past video, because I think last video we went one and two. This one we're going one and two. Pulitzer was just a tough time using. Very strong Pokemon, but again, the meta is just insanely strong. It doesn't really allow it to get a chance to shine. So guys, not a bad set of battles. Grabbed ourselves one win, two losses, and at least try to get Claw Itzer out there. Very fun Pokemon to use, but again, the meta is just so strong, it doesn't really give it a chance to really shine. Like, we're just getting ripped on. Chiyu, Fluttermane, just hitting us, outspeeding us, and just taking us out, no problem. But at least I tried for you guys, and hopefully you guys still did enjoy today's video. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.